My name is Janelle Diaz. Um, I am 19 and I am from D-Land, Florida. My name is Samantha Stevenson. I am from Palm Coast, Florida and I'm 23 years old. My name is Journey Prickett. I'm 21 years old and I'm from D-Land, Florida. Yeah, I wanted to enter this because I love the feeling of making other people feel beautiful. I really like the environment of the salon, so I was like, it's a year program, let me give it a shot. And the reason why I chose DSC was because it was super affordable, super close to my house, and I honestly love it here. Hi, my name is Mariah. I am 22 years old, and I am from New Smyrna Beach, Florida. My name is Chelsea Zablo. I am 30 years old and born and raised in Daytona Beach, Florida. My name is Brianna and I am 20 years old. I am currently from Miami Gardens. My name is Keisha Butler. I'm 37 years old, originally from Miami, Florida, but I moved to Daytona Beach when I was in high school. My daughter, actually, she encouraged me to go back to school and do something that I'm passionate about. I'm Dee Gay, and for the past seven years, I have served as the chair in the School of Cosmetology and Barbering here at Daytona State College. I've also served as lead faculty for our entrepreneurial education and training for the past three years here at Daytona State. The entrepreneurial mindset training and initiative that we have started here in our cosmetology program has influenced our students by empowering them, giving them the confidence that they need when they complete our program and they're ready to enter into the workforce. We have had students come back to us after completing, getting licensed and starting to work and even opening their own salons and telling us about the importance and the value that they have found in this program. After doing the entrepreneurship program, I realized I don't need anything to start. I just need a good mindset. Before, I could really only see myself working as an employee for a salon. Um, it seems a lot more attainable to work for myself and open a business. We have now introduced this entrepreneurial mindset curriculum across the entire college in our certificate programs, our AS programs, our AA programs, and our bachelor's degrees. The Ice House Entrepreneur Program has showed me a lot about um, taking the initiative and not just sitting back and waiting for things to happen, that sometimes you have to take the chance. It has completely changed my mindset and I am going to be an entrepreneur. It showed different struggles of different people, showing how attainable it is to reach your goals as long as you're driven enough to do it. You know what? This might be a good fit for me. I might need to start be my own boss, you know? I don't want to spend the rest of my life working behind someone. I want to be my own person, my own business, my own brand, and the only way to do that is by being an entrepreneur. What attracts me to entrepreneurship is the financial literacy that you learn along the way. Um, when you start kind of from the ground up, you see the behind the scenes. Many of our students have become entrepreneurs. That's one thing that about our cosmetology and pro, um, barbering programs is that they have to have this entrepreneurship mindset because they're in a service industry where they have to promote themselves. Even if they work behind the chair for a corporate salon or a private salon, they are promoting themselves, marketing, branding themselves to build that clientele and to be successful in this field. What attracts me to entrepreneurship is being able to have my own schedule, work for myself, um, be there for my family as much as I can. Having the opportunity to be a boss that is not only helpful, but being like present with everybody in a salon is something that's very attractive to me. Anybody can, can have that mindset if they choose to. And it's a really, really great program. And I actually, this program was included in Daytona State Cosmetology. It came with it and there's so many benefits involved. Once I'm licensed, I have decided that I am going to market older development, seniors, um, people who don't want to leave their house, women with postpartum, people who are just afraid to leave the house, who don't want to go anywhere anymore, or don't have the time, or have children and can't bring them. I want to be a mobile, fully mobile cosmetologist. When I'm licensed, I plan to work in a salon for a little bit and then eventually build up my clientele and open my own salon. 
where my primary focus will be on curly hair and will be on fantasy color, which is like basically vivid color, like purples, greens, blues, stuff like that. I came to school originally wanting to do makeup and the more that I'm in school, I'm realizing that I'm enjoying doing hair. So I'm really excited to possibly be able to do a whole spectrum of things and maybe one day just own a salon that does all of this, yeah. My career goals would be to become my own boss and be start my own business in cosmetics. And I also want to, you know, build my own salon and, you know, start that up when I finish with my small business. Some advice I have for our students as they complete our program and this entrepreneurship training is to go out and be lifelong learners, to be continually, have that growth mindset to where they don't see problems, they see opportunities. And then when they hit a roadblock, they don't stop, they don't give up, they persist, which is one of the life lessons that they learn is persistence. And that's what I leave with them as this advice is to, you know, continue growing and learning and seeing every opportunity that, you know, and grasping that opportunity and taking advantage of it and levering your skills and your talents along the way.